Hello everybody, and welcome back to a quick rigging tutorial for uh, bogey rolling stock. Now, if you guys remember from last time, we rigged these um, nice looking, um, well we rigged these nice slate wagons to have both uh, regular hinges or hinges and VS2. Today we'll be doing the same thing for bogey coaches, as you can see this one has the hinges on it, and this one has the VS2. These are actually like really old bogey coaches of mine that I built like two years ago in 2022 for my old game Yorkshire State Railway, but uh, at the time they didn't really work very well, kind of non-functional, and nowadays they are just kind of redundant, so I decided why not reuse them for the um, test. So anyway, as you can see here, we have the VS2 coach. This one is an, old, eight, an older model that had hinges in the gliders because I learned it from another from a free model from Ethan. And then this one is the... Uh, this one is the VS2 one I just rigged now. So anyway, if we hop into the locomotive Merlin, which is probably my favorite locomotive ever because he's my best locomotive ever, we will see how well we. I will show you how well it runs. All right, we are in, and it's very laggy. Also, I have a snow particle effect running. I was testing something. Actually, you know, that's actually a lot of snow. That's actually quite a good snow that's something. Anyway, let's couple up to the train. And let's get going. As you can see, Merlin runs perfectly fine. And the coaches, despite balancing a bit, they do run fine. When you rig your, when, whenever you're going to rig your rolling stock, bogey rolling stock, it shouldn't run this bad. These coaches, coaches are just ancient and, well, probably not built to a very good standard. See, so yeah, anyway, as you can see, these things run perfectly fine, normal backwards. This one bounces a bit, but again, older stock, probably not going to work as well as, you know, the newer stuff. So yeah, anyway, let's get started. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the link in the description, or if you don't want to, you can just pull out your own model. But um, we'll first start, start, start with this hinge version that's just regular hinge. So yeah, essentially what you're going to want to do is you're going to take your coach model, or bogey model, or whatever. As you can see in this one, this one seems to already have the vehicle seat too. Let me just strip all that out real quick. I forgot to uh, clean this out earlier. Um, wait, did I lose? Oh, no. I forgot to clean this guy out earlier, so I need to uh, just strip it out right now of all its older A-handle components. We'll go back to that. But the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to group each bogey individually. So as you can see here, we have them, I call them truck 1 and truck 1. They're supposed to be truck 1 and truck 2, but uh, I guess they were just forgotten to rename or something. So if we go explore something called truck 1, I'll just pull it out. So, your basic truck or bogey should look like this. You will have two axles, which I will actually right now name axles. So you'll have your axles, you'll have your main body group, which can be a union, a singular union, or many unions. You'll have your A handle, oh, actually, that should not be there, my bad. This is only for the VS2 version, the uh, regular version does not require an A handle, I would not suggest putting one on. But yeah, basically, you'll have your, um, it's actually pretty simple, you'll have that. You'll have your four gliders, because you can either have four gliders of the cylinder variety, or two gliders of the disc variety, it's up to you. And you'll have a part, a designated hinge part, basically the part that connects the bogey to the frame of the, um, or the rest of the body. See, I'm just gonna undo that real quick, throw that back in there, delete those real quick, and rename these to Axel. Alright, so, to get started, first what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take a advanced weld, you can just grab one from, like, this chassis model here, Advance Weld 2, you're going to want to paste it into the model, so now this guy, essentially, when it's unanchored, will automatically just pop out and stop, well, it's, it won't fall apart when you, base. It'll, it'll, it'll be functional. So essentially, take truck 1, or I guess in my case, tr this truck number 1, and go to this, um, as you can see here, these guys also have something called wheels, although they're not properly called wheels. You're also going to want this, I also forgot to mention that each axle should have the main um, union that is going to be your, like, regular model. This one cannot, this has to have no collision, as you can see down here, this has no collision, but it'll have invisible colliders. These guys, well, I guess in this case, they're not invisible. They should be invisible. I don't know why they're not invisible. Generally speaking, colliders should just be vis invisible. These will have collision, be the only thing in the on these axles that have collision. 
this wheel here will not have collision, and in fact, these wheels probably shouldn't be here. I'm just going to delete them right now. As you can tell, this was a pretty rush job. I mean, I probably should have put it a bit more time into this, but I kind of just wanted to get this video out as fast as possible. So apart from the fact that I probably sound like I'm slurring my words and just getting really fast and trying to finish it up as fast as possible, I don't know how much time I have left. Let me just make these uh, one. Let's say uh, yeah, one makes them invisible. Yep. Okay. Okay. Cool. So that's that. So once you have your model all set up, and by the way, this model will be available in the description down below for you to explore, experiment. You will essentially take your first bogey. We're just gonna take this bogey, and we're going to first take this ex this hinge part. I'm just gonna name this hinge. You're gonna take this hinge. You're going to add an attachment to it. Now, you're going to want to make sure this attachment is exactly like this. With the yellow arrow sticking up and the orange arrow sticking that way. Or, it can stick either way, 360 degree, but it has to always have the yellow arrow up first. Next, you're going to take this attachment point. You're going to take this attachment point on the body. You're going to add a attachment to it. And you're going to want to make sure it's also having the exact same setup. And we have to, and you want to make sure that each arrow on each one is facing the exact same way. Basically mirror each other, but not even mirror. It's like an identical copy. Next, you're going to take a hinge, and you're going to connect it directly to the bogey. And next, you're going to be taking this attachment here, copying this world C frame, or I guess this position in general. Yeah, this world C frame position. You're going to go to this attachment, and then you're going to paste that into there so that way it'll be automatically and correctly put into it so it's as close as possible, or, you know, I guess exactly possible because it's in the same coordinates. You can, you'll do that for the other side, but I will just do that in a sped up section. So next, you're going to be taking this axle here, which I'm not going to name, but it's just called axle. You're going to put an attachment in, and you're going to want to make sure it's exactly the same. You want, now, so, not exactly the same. Now you want the yellow arrow facing that way, and the orange arrow facing up. You're going to want to do the same thing on this axle. So let's take that. You're going to want to exactly like that. Next, we're going to be taking this um, main frame area. We're going to be taking two attachments, doubling them up. And as you can see here, there are the, the orange, yellow arrows facing that direction. We're going to want to rotate it so it faces that direction. You will then take the yellow arrow, and I like to do this. I like to pull that out. And you're going to take a hinge. You're going to connect it directly to the axle. You're going to then copy the axle position like we did there in the original one. So we do it like that. Then we take you and hinge you up like that. We copy you. And then we paste it directly into you. And boom. And yeah, that's actually pretty much how you just rig one of these bogeys. It's actually really simple with the VS2. It's essentially just as simple as these guys, but not requiring the uh, hinge. So yes, I will um, cut back to the video when we are have the second one rigged up. And uh, that'll be it. And that's the coach done. It's all it's been all rigged up and everything should connect. Now while I would test this model, I already showed you guys off this model and to prove that this is nearly the same exact model. Besides the couplers, this guy has couplers. We're just gonna see we have the same exact union and coupling, so we have all the exact things on this truck one here. Essentially it's just a copy same copy of this. You guys can tell if you look at the union, this guy has all the attachments plus a few extra ones that it doesn't need. But yeah, that's basically how you rig a uh, VS, well not VS2, this is how you rig a hinge boat, own hinge chassis. Next, we're going to want to show you how to rig the VS2 one. This one is a bit more complicated, I'll admit, but overall the concept is pretty simple. So first things first, I'm going to want to take this model, I'm just going to strip it out of all its uh, attachment points or whatever. So we're going to want to strip that out. We're going to keep the advanced weld in just because the advanced weld is useful. And next, well, first things first, we're going to want to take these colliders. At least take one collider from every side of the model. Also, the hinge constraint will be removed later, don't worry. So essentially, you're going to take these colliders, you want to duplicate them, align it in the middle with these axles, and don't worry, they will align for all the other axles. And then we're going to rename it to wheel. That is essentially saying this is the middle wheel section which the um, VS2 attachment motor is connected to. Next, you're going to want to take this VS2 attachment or this VS2 chassis, 
take these scripts, these two scripts, this vehicle seat, this vehicle seat two configuration, and this A handle, specifically this A handle here, copy it, go to this model, and press paste into at original location. And you can just get rid of the advanced well too, because assuming assuming you already have one in the script in the model, you don't really need a second one. In fact, I think second one just breaks everything. And then you're gonna take these the specifically this A handle and that vehicle seat too, and you're going to put it directly well not into here actually, you're gonna wanna put it into here. Essentially you wanna make sure it's lined up in the model. Next, you're gonna wanna make both of these invisible, like so. And then we're going to go to the vehicle seat here specifically. We're going to go all the way down to the um, control and we're going to press disabled. Turn off head dis heads up display. And we're also going to want to turn off its collision. Essentially meaning that no one will be able to use this and essentially this vehicle is no longer powered by that thing and therefore is now free rolling. At least that's how I believe it is. Let me just make sure on this um, model. Because it's been a while since I rigged this, so I just want to make sure if I was correct looking at this guy. Yep, okay, that's the same thing. Anyway, back to this guy. Next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this A handle here, and you're going to want to go to one of the bogies, or I guess both trucks. You're going to want to press paste into selected place at original location. And we're going to take this bogey here, but not this one here, so I'm just going to move that out of the way. So now we have two A handles. Now, these A handles have a specific, or they they should, oh, this one here at least. This one here has a specific thing called the VS2 attachment bogey. This is important as this VS2, this A handle, will connect to this A handle here, but it will only connect it via... Um, an attachment like a connection so you don't have to actually have this a handle touching this one specifically maybe you can't maybe it's important I'm not 100% sure I've tested it before I haven't really noticed a difference but whatever the case you gotta take this a handle and since it's on this truck you gotta take this a handle you gotta press this truck so it selects the entire thing of oh, one act actually in actuality you just gotta select this guy set this up boom bada bing bada boom it is in and now this guy is perfectly aligned in the center of it Take the same thing for the second A handle and bada bing bada boom, align it there. Now I now you now you can, if you want, keep those visible, but I like to personally make them invisible because you know, you can see it. Or not see it. What am I saying? I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Next we're gonna be doing the final step, which is going to be attaching the um VS2 attachment motor. Now you're gonna take the attachment motor from that model, you're going to select all of these wheels. Select all of these wheels. And we're going to paste into selected. And assuming everything was correct, which it wasn't, generally speaking, we probably should have the, um, I generally suggest you want to have the uh, yellow arrows facing the same direction. I'm not sure if it affects it or not. I believe it might, but just to be on the safe side, make sure they all face the same direction. And um, yes, that's pretty much how to rig one of these. Now this guy will not have any audio, unless of course you just take the audio from one of these guys. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how to rig one of these. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm really sorry if this video was kind of rushed and my voice kind of sounded a bit off and I was kind of stuttering a bit. I had to get this video out soon because, well, I'm not going to be able to do a video for a bit of a while since it's going to be gone. And I felt like, why not? Some people need help with this. Specifically, somebody asked me for help with this, and this uh, tutorial didn't help. So I was like, you know what? It's time to teach people how to big rig bogey coaches. I will be having this coach completely um, gutted, essentially have nothing in it besides the seed, and just essentially advanced weld and all this stuff will not be in this coach. But it will be in the link in the description down below, so you can tinker around and play with it. I wouldn't suggest using it for anything, because it's really kind of bad. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all later.